So what exactly is volumetric efficiency and what are its implications on horsepower? Now, if you guys may recall, I said that a stock Gen 3 Coyote has a higher volumetric efficiency than any sort of LS straight out of the factory, and this made a lot of people mad, but I'm going to show you guys exactly why my argument is grounded in science and it is not subjective whatsoever. So let's begin with the definition of volumetric efficiency, and this is the percentage of air that is moved through a cylinder in one cycle considering the displacement of the engine. So for example, with the Gen 3 Coyote, it would be the hypothetical amount of air that would be taken up during the combustion process in relation to the displacement of the engine. So in order to measure the volumetric efficiency of a Gen 3 Coyote with the stock heads, we have to consider the factory red line, which is 7600 RPM, and the maximum airflow of the stock heads. So this is provided by Ford Motor Company, and it's 295 cubic feet per minute. To continue our calculation of VE of a stock Gen 3 Coyote, we would then need to convert RPM to revolutions per second. So we're converting 7600 RPM because this is our factory red line. Divide that by 60 because there are 60 seconds in one minute, and this reveals a value of 126.67 revolutions per second. Then if we further utilize the previous calculation and the product derived from the calculation, we can plug this in to receive our theoretical maximum airflow. So now we're ready to calculate volumetric efficiency, which is actual airflow divided by theoretical maximum airflow times 100. So this would be 330 CFM divided by 316.67 times 100. This would reveal a value of a volumetric efficiency of 104% at 7600 RPM. Now, if we do the same exact calculation for a stock LS3, a Chevy motor, we're gonna reveal a VE of 90%. And then this further implicates a calculation that shows how much boost or how much air would be pumped through the engine if you were to add 15 pounds of boost to a stock LS3 versus a Gen 3 Coyote. So we can display this by assuming standard vacuum at sea level, which is 14.7. We're gonna multiply this for the Gen 3 Coyote times one plus 15 pounds of boost times one. So a total of 29.7 PSI is being pumped through a Gen 3 Coyote, assuming standard vacuum and 15 pounds of boost. Doing the same exact calculation for an LS3 with 15 pounds of boost, we can derive a value of 26.73 implicating that the Coyote does in fact make in total more boost or pushes more air through the stock motor. More air equals more power at the same boost level. Now you can increase the intake CFM of any LS motor by basically upgrading the valve train and possibly swapping out heads for more flow, but it is an undeniable fact that a stock Gen 3 Coyote with dual overhead cams has a superior engineering design. 